Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Darius Slayer here. It's been some time since I've posted on my, my YouTube channel, probably more than three years. And uh, yeah, so what I've decided to do is create a, uh, like a series, you no know, vlog of um, my experience so far living in Japan since I moved here back in March 2022. Um, I, this first, I guess, episode is just an introduction of who I am. It's gonna be around probably 10 minutes or so, of me talking. Um, unedited, I don't like to uh, edit, I don't want to bother editing, really, it's, I just don't care, <laughs> I, I do not care, so, you know, what you see is what you get, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry for all future videos that, that have this <laughs> sort of format, but, you know, that's just the way it is, and I'll get, you know, uh, you know, the right equipment, I guess, uh, like pocket Wi-Fi and whatever else, camera stick, uh, to better present and um, do uh, live streams as well. Because I do want to get into, well, I have gone back into streaming recently. And I want to do live streaming of me whenever I'm, you know, in and around Japan. Um, like next weekend. After I get my paycheck, uh, I will be going to Akihabara and I'm going to check out you know, some pocket Wi-Fi's and whatnot and um, I want to reach out to a few other streamers I know of who do the same thing and you know, just ask them, you know, hey, what's your equipment, you know, and um, get a good idea, get a budget going on that because right now, um, first year that I lived here in Japan, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, they, uh, my, my paycheck was pretty, pretty bad, pretty bad. It was, um, I was making less than a McDonald's worker over here and it, it was, it was not fun. It was depressing. I went through the whole honeymoon phase that you normally hear about when it comes to, you no. Know, uh, people coming to uh, Japan uh, not just to visit but to live here because vis visitation and uh, living here you know being a resident is totally different the experience is obviously night and day uh, because when you're just a visitor you're not here long enough to experience the uh, the plunge after the sweet sweet honeymoon that you have <laughs> during your you know I'd say up to three months of living here um, but yeah yeah it, it's it's a different experience and I definitely fell into a deep impre uh, impression depression sorry and uh, but my life has gotten better I have a better job better paying job uh, not exactly, you know, my dream job, but hey, you know, it pays the bills. I'm getting paid in USD, and USD is so strong over here in, in Japan right now. It's unbelievably nice and refreshing. Let me put down my glasses. Refreshing to know that the possibility of being able to save up money as well spend uh, to have like you no know, good life feels good feels good uh, sorry it's a little bit windy now so again I'm not gonna bother editing any of this so if it's crappy it's crappy now I'm not gonna go in and be like oh well they didn't hear me so I'm gonna have to put in some subtitles now um, what else has been going on yeah, so girlfriend, Japanese girlfriend, and we've been going 
pretty steady for a while now. Uh, we've already talked about marriage and we're looking at by the end of next year, uh, I'll be married. Yay! And the possibility of having kids. At first I was against it because I was like, I'm still a young stallion. I can still, you know, taste the sweet nectar. <laughs> Uh, but no, um, no, it's time for me to settle down. I'm already 40 and I would like to at least have one kid and see how it's like. It's not like I can just put it back in my wife, you know, I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm done. Here you go. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> I wish, <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, again, this is just an introduction. And ooh, that's a really large boat. It's like a cruise ship. Here, one second. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you're gonna get stuff like that from me where I'm just gonna be like, oh, something shiny. And I point the camera that way. So, you know, there you go. Um, what else? I was, like in my head, I had like a full list of things I was going to talk about and you know, the freak, oh right, 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 the frequency of these videos. Um, I'm going to try and have it at least, at least once, uh, one video a week. Uh, maybe more, it depends on how much time I have because after work, I'm telling you, after work I am dead tired. I'm still working on my game project. Uh, for those that don't know, I'm working on a action RPG using the Unreal 5 engine now, not no longer the 4.27 I believe I originally was working on. And um, then I had a problem with my PC where I had to wipe the C drive because it was just it was just a mess, technical mess. And uh, what else? So I had to reinstall Unreal Engine on there, a couple reinstalls, and then additional software that I forgot that I needed to run with Unreal 5. So, yeah. But I'm getting back into my project slowly, and I am writing up a Patreon page. Or, no, working on a Patreon page right now uh, with different tiers. It's so windy, it's so windy out. Uh, it's hella hot here and it's so humid, but the wind feels so nice. Um, again, my apologies for the wind and the sound quality, but that's just the way it is. Um, but yeah, so working on my uh, video game still and I hope to have a early alpha release sometime before the end of this year. I'm looking at December. Hopefully by December we'll have an alpha, early, early alpha. And um, that's when I will uh, release the Patreon page, maybe earlier. It depends on how I feel about the stage of the project. Because right now, I'm working with the Dungeon Architect. It's a, uh, what's it called? It uses blueprints, but essentially what it is, is that it allows me to create um, uh, randomized dungeons uh, using either set dungeon pieces or rooms. And it looks really nice. And, um, works and it will work well with the idea that I have where the game you go through the dungeon to acquire you go through several different dungeons actually each one that is a different theme and you obtain a key and each key that you get allows you to progress further through the main map the main map is the static map so there's no randomization there and um, that the main map, the static map, 
is for story progression. The randomized dungeons is, you know, to basically fuck around, uh, level up, you know, try out different uh, builds. As for character creation, like, I don't, I don't, I don't have the skill set for that. I wish I did, and I'm past the 10 minute mark, yay. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, that's what the Patreon page is for, is, um, you know, the money for that will go towards hiring a, a competent programmer who knows their ins and outs of the Unreal Engine, Unreal 5 engine. And hopefully they're really good with blueprints and I would prefer blueprints so that I can understand what's going on because I want to learn as well on the way so I can better improve myself. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's, that's where it's gonna go towards now the money. And, um, and also for them to set up the plastic CSM, I believe it's called. Yeah, so they, if they're, since they would be working ideally from their home, um, you know, we, we can work on the project whenever we can at our own you know, time. And you know, there's a list, I have a list of things that I would wish for the programmer to work on and I have it set in the priority. Uh, the first being, you know, making sure that the multiplayer is functional. By the way, the ARPG game that we're working on will be multiplayer. Uh, how many players? Four. Like, I'm uh, going for like four players, but it really depends on like the network tests and all that. Ideally four. If we can do more, great, fine, whatever. But four is what I would go for. No four player online co-op, go through a dungeon, level up, grind. Um, the gameplay action will be more arcade-like where it's, I want the game to be easy to pick up and uh, not a steep learning curve, but each character will be a representative of the classes that we would later implement. So there will be a static character for each class. So like the dwarf will be a two-handed, you no know, large axe. Two-handed, we'll be using two-handed axes and hammers. And so players who want to work with that sort of particular class, uh, we get a good feel for that. And those who want to use sword and shield, they can choose this other character. Those who want to go with magic, they choose another character. You get what I'm saying, right? And uh, and also the skill sets as well. And um, yeah, so first things first is I already have the enemies down. Um, like I'm not going to purchase any more enemies from the. Um, marketplace I'm gonna leave it as is uh, anyways oh that's 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 a topic for another, another video I've, I've gone on too long about it I'm sorry um, see that's this is what you're going to get when you when you watch my videos is me ranting and talking about crap but anyways um, it's already 14 minutes over and I'm quite surprised and quite pleased actually that I've reached the 14 minute mark and uh, yeah I don't know exactly the frequency of these video uploads. It's not going to be daily, that's for sure. Maybe every three to four days, maybe. So I can give you, you know, an update of what's going on. Um, and I will go more into detail of, you know, just my life here in Japan and what to expect. Because, um, quite the experience and so hopefully from my experience I can you know uh, teach everyone or you know um, give you uh, a rough idea or a good idea uh, of what to expect when you live here so I do have to say though and let me say this is that after 
for those who are living here in Japan or about to move here, you will go through the honeymoon phase. You will have a long moments, hopefully not, of depression, being in a state of depression. All I have to say is, no, um, stick through it. You know, just persevere and uh, make friends. It doesn't have to be Japanese, it can be expats. And, um, you know, just know that it's not the worst and that you'll make it through. I did. <laughs> um, and if you are ever in need of like a friend to talk to and to, um, you know, help you out when you move here, you know, hit me up. Myself and you know, the other expats that I know of, you know, we wouldn't mind helping you. So, you know, don't feel like you're alone, all right? So, all right, that's basically it for now. And I will someday, hopefully, maybe soon, I will get back to you guys. Um, I can feel my skin turning to a crisp because of the heat. <laughs> it's so hot. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so hot here. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. Thank you once again for watching. And go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like and subscribe button. <laughs> and, uh, you know, hit that bell notification if you want. No, I don't give a shit. Just do whatever you want. You know what? Seriously. <laughs> I don't care. But, yeah. Um, stick around. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.